Let's learn about React Fragments. React Render method only renders one root node like a div. So if we want to render multiple elements in a single render method, we need a single element such as a div as a container. So the problem we have without fragments is that if we use simple div tag in return and wrap all other elements inside that div, then this div adds a single extra node to our React tree. Now this extra node won't make such a difference in a simple web app, but in the web apps with uh, more components having extra nodes will make it a little bit slow. Let's try any component without uh, fragments and with fragments. Inside the component folder, I'm creating a new folder called fragments and in, in the fragments, let's create one file called fragmentdemo.js. Now create one class component using a React snippets by just typing RCC. Inside the div tag, let's just write uh, this is a fragment demo in the h1 tag. Now import fragment demo file in the app.js. And it's running. Let's open our inspect elements. And as you can see here, this is our main DOM structure. Our app resides in the div with the ID root. Now inside that root, there is a two div tags. One div is of the app.js file while the other div is our component. And inside the div resides one h1 tag. This structure creates unnecessary elements or nodes in the DOM tree. Let's understand it better by creating one more component which displays table. Again create class component using react snippets. And inside the return, let's create one table which has a one table row. And for the table data, let's create another component called table columns. In the columns component, create two table data cells and write hello and world. Now let's import this column component in the table and call the table component in the fragment demo file. As you can see here, inside the table element, there is a single row and in the row, there is a one div tags instead of td tags. So this creates a problem. Now to solve these kind of issues, fragments let you group a list of children without adding extra nodes to the DOM. Now, syntax for fragment is just wrap all the children components with the react.fragment. Let's try. As you can see, now there is no extra div tag inside the table row and it only shows the td tags. There is also one shorter syntax to use a fragments which looks like an empty text and just like that. There is only a single div which is inside the app file. Let's remove that too. You can also use 
only fragments after importing it from the React. Now we don't have any extra div tags. Another thing that fragments provide is the use of a key attribute. For now, there is only a one attribute that React React fragments support, which is the key attribute. Let's use that. Create one component, let's say list demo.js. Inside the list demo, I'm creating a new array of objects where each objects have one ID and color value. Let's map these colors in the return using a fragments. Colors dot map, which gives us one single item and display this item in the react fragments. Set its key attribute as item dot id. That's it. Import list demo in the fragment demo file. And as you can see here, it is displaying the collection of array in the simplest way without creating any other nodes in the DOM tree. That's it for this video. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.